Hey guys and welcome. I'm extremely excited to showcase this game for you. Not only does it feature my favorite Lizardmen as well as High Elves who we've had a lot of High Elf replays recently. I do apologize for that but we have a treat today because we have Energize and Kala Harmon, two of the best players in the game and two players I have a lot of love and time for. Not only are them, both of them are fantastic champions of the game in general but likewise they're two of the best dino players around which means facing Lizardmen and playing Lizardmen is kind of their specialty so i'm excited to see and delve into this one and though the lizardmen have always have my heart i must admit this high elf build is incredibly cool and experimental i'm excited to showcase this battle here today so without further ado let's delve into the lizardmen build of mighty energized down here in the back we do have some horned ones horned ones been getting more and more popular against the high elves in recent times due to their effectiveness against silver helms dragon princes basically anything which isn't the fireborn we also have the source old blood which is very old school i don't get to see source old bloods much whatsoever anymore but they are very powerful particularly on their kinosaur the horn of kaigor as well as amulet of itzel makes him an absolute powerhouse in melee very excited to see how he performs today we also have double chameleon skinks up in the front, a load of skink cohorts and Saurus warriors that make up the main battle line. Saurus are very good up against high elves in general. We'll tend to struggle up against white lions but we're supported by loads of skinks flooding the flanks as well to push into the enemy back line. They can certainly be really scary. We have more elite horned ones over on this right hand side looking to bring the pain to the enemy cavalry but there's a lot of enemy cavalry for them to really jump upon. With a skink priest of heavens coming with wind blast and harmonic convergence as well as a beautifully elegant ancient salamander we shall call her the sassy Susan looking to fire shots in wherever possible but if you look across the plains of snow it is the elvish steeds that shall bound before you all coming from the trees as well as the open plain. We have silver helms of shields, we have dragon princes reavers more silver helms in the middle mixed in with even more reavers and again on the far flank dragon princes silver helms and reavers once more it is a no infantry frontline build we do however have some range troops in the form of triple archers not with the light armor unfortunately because the light armor does give a little bit extra swagger but the uh, tr basic triple archers very cheap very cheerful and very comfortable at bringing the pain from afar but just cavalry apart from that we do have a mage of high magic in the back with tempest very good stop pterodons as well as apotheosis and leading the charge going through the fire and the flames as a big fireball swoops over him making him look even more regal and elegant than usual it is imric the dragon prince coming in with his horn as well as a lord of dragons lord of dragons one of the best hex spells in the game or items i should say but the horn of dragons gonna be really nice if he times it well with the cavalry as they thunder in on the charge it could indeed be devastating so the source old blood is going to counter charge where possible it looks like he does get lord of dragons popped on him nuking his stats quite heavily but that doesn't stop him from getting through Imric's defense there and taking a big old chunk out of the boy Dragonhorn is popped and cavalry slams home all across the battle line looking to bring pain and destruction to the children of the old ones we can see Imric is already having to eat an apotheosis because he is getting bam slapped up right now by the source old blood who's just ripping into the boy silver helms as well are starting to struggle source warriors do pack a relatively decent punch we have even more reavers having to commit themselves to the fight to try to hold back the mighty old blood now we do have archers starting to focus fire him down which is really good play here from the high elf player however we do have the ancient salamander already up to 17 kills you can see a big blood splatter and smoldering snow where he last shot and he can really drag down archers rather effectively and in Rick the mighty the legendary slayer of monsters currently being terrified and forced back by the Saurus old blood who does have harmonic convergence popped on him now the whole ones are doing a fantastic job but they're very outnumbered they're un jumped on by reavers as well as dragon princes on this left hand flank not going too well for them as for the other unit i don't even see them on the battlefield anymore no they are here they're in the middle and they're throwing a bit better though they are fighting dragon princes and silver helms ancient salamanders is having to get down and dirty in combat which is certainly not where it wants to be but there is chameleon skink support and skinks are trying to flood into the back line on top of the archers but good play here by the high off player using those silver helms and reavers to pin the enemy in place now Imric went round for round two went back for his seconds and uh, Imric unfortunately did get forced off now the archers doing a really good job of focusing down the source old blood who is starting to struggle we do have some horde ones in the back but there's only five models left so the archers should in theory be able to push them off though they are reaping a bloody toll upon the elvish archers and barely clinging on cold blooded keep them in action and it might be enough to enable them to actually break the archers before they themselves are forced off the battlefield and that is just what happens my god if this unit can chase off those archers there's a massive win right there for the dino boys the other archers 
Rose as well are being shut down. Skink Coorts pushing through the front alongside Soros and Horned One support. And the back line is an absolute mess now for the Hail Forces. However, Imric the Dragon Prince does once again return to the battlefield. Can he get another heal? Because the Mage of High Magic is getting slaughtered. Much like her Liege Lord, she's attempting to stand up to the Soros Old Blood. Not doing a bad time of it either. Hornet Kygor goes down and stand your ground. Only 511 HP remains, however. And the Major High Magic is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Devil and survive to uh, tell the tale. In the back line, Reavers are again beaten down now by the Ancient Salamander, up to 36 kills, having to be used majority in combat as well. You see there's a bucket ton of ammunition left, which could be useful in the latter stages of the battle, though not so much against Dragon Princes if they are the ones kind of roaming around. The Source Old Blood is forced back, and in the deep you can hear Imric sound the Horn of War, the Dragon Horn once more, and he's going to be looking to drive in to the Source Old Blood, and no doubt as well, the Ancient Salamander. There's still a decent pocket of Source Warriors though left, which could be very problematic and the more the cavalry pull back the more damage the chameleon skinks can indeed do. Horned One's being used here to drive back the silver helms and just try to save the day a little bit down on this uh, little part of the battlefield as it looks like unfortunately the source old blood probably isn't going to be coming back his leadership oh, is actually just about maybe he will come back negative free leadership there's a chance he could indeed return here Horned Ones do eat a lot of dragons have they also get a harmonic convergence on them leveling it out slightly and still doing some decent damage here to the dragon prince himself as the little skink priest runs after the wizard. There's a little flick of the tower, a little bonk of the staff. And also summons the skin cohorts and source wars nearby to support. Should be enough to finish off the Mage of High Magic for good, which is obviously going to be a big boom because otherwise healing Dragon Princes would be a nightmare in the later stages of the battle here for the uh, Lizard Warriors. Dragon Princes are able to surround the Ancient Salamander. Coldblooded is kindly popped on it. It's doing a really decent job just terrifying away Reavers and barely clinging on. I sometimes forget the Ancient Salamander actually causes terror, not just fear. And with the Source War support, they might be able to actually push away the Dragon Princes, saving the Ancient Salamander, allowing it to bring fire from afar. Again, though, it's going to be basically next to useless against Dragon Princes due to that fire resistance that they can be dragged down by Chameleon Skinks in the later stages. At least that's what the Lizardman player is hoping. The Skink Priest, as well as the Horned Ones, have surrounded Imric. Harmonic Convergence goes down on the Horned Ones. They buff their stats to ridiculous levels. Their 79 melee attack. They're able to surround the Prince and drag him from his steed into the snow. His horse is definitely trying to save him, though. He's at uh, 230 HP. Maybe he'll be able to come back into this. Only time will tell, but he's looking very weak right now. Dragon Princes slam into the Horn Ones, looking to finish them off. And they should be able to do that. The Horn Ones, though, have uh, fought rather bravely, got 117 kills, are about spent, and they're getting dragged down by the Princes. Ancient Salamander still just about going strong, and it looks like this could be game over, despite the fact Dragon Princes are still alive. Imric is one or two blow darts from death. Chameleon Skinks are still well and truly alive. We do have the Archers rallying, but Arminos is so close that I don't think they're going to have a chance here. The High Elves to actually bring this back, because... The archers could certainly wall down Ancient Salamander and probably a large amount of the Source Warriors, particularly with the support of Cycle Charging Cavalry, but it does not matter because the Armour Losses kicks in and it shall be a Pyrrhic victory for the forces of the Lizardmen. So very well played there to Energize as well as Kala Harmon, a really beautiful game by both players. Two of my favourite players currently playing on the tournament scene. And a real cool showcase as well of a really unique and interesting high health build in general. The mass cavalry and just a couple of archers. And it's always good to see top tier Lizardman play. I am a massive fan of it. The horned ones as well. 2.6k damage value and 624. This unit kind of got overwhelmed a little bit. But the other one, my god, really put on a fantastic showing. As did I think the Saurus Old Blood, who is... A lord we saw like all the time. We used to see him all the time in the match and he seems to have just fallen off the base of Lustria right now. But uh, came in with that big 2,625 damage value and certainly pit Imric in his place. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a super good fun cast. I will go through the damage dealt and value of all of these units in just a second. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big fat juicy thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well for more Total War Warhammer content into the future. And also comment down below what you thought of the battle. All those things massively help out the channel. There's also a little links in the description for those of you who are looking to uh, give replays to me. I have a Discord. There's a link in down in the description down below. You can also play uh, in tournaments I host from there, live streams, all that kind of good stuff. I am now back, luckily, in my uh, hometown or my home city at the moment. So I'm back after the holidays and I will be doing live streams again shortly. Probably even today, maybe. It depends when this video actually does come out. But yeah, a load of links in the description to Twitch, Discord, um, yeah, Patreon, all that kind of cool stuff. 
But wait, back to the battle. Well played to Energize. Well played to Kalahama. And once again, to Absolute Chads. Let's look at how the armies did. So the mighty Saurus Old Blood did get 2.6k damage value. Very tasty. 369 from the Skink Priest of Heavens. And the little Skinkies, not quite paying for themselves. But hey, they're against Mass Cavalry. They basically just got annoying and jumping in the back lines and forcing Cavalry to disengage from the front and pull back to protect the archers. The Saurus got 1,030 damage value and 55 kills, which is nice. 953, 838, and 855 value. Every single unit of Saurus Roar is performing to their max. They're doing some really lovely damage all around. The Slow Skink cohort unit is the, the unit which dreamed, got 343 value and paid for themselves, which is nice to see. Now, the Chameleons, 700 and 337 damage values. Not too fantastic from them, but again, just getting run over by Cavalry isn't going to be their day. Horned Ones, particularly this unit on the right, such a staple. 117 kills, 2.6k damage value. I remember when no one took Horned Ones and they were considered this massive meme. And now they're pretty common picks against High Elves and Dark Elves, and I love to see it. Ancient Salamander, 64 kills, 663 value. Certainly not too bad. As for the Cowman himself, the Mighty Kalahaman, Imrek, 1.5k damage value. He did go toe to toe with death with the Mighty Saurus Old Blood. He did come off far worse, so he outlived the Old Blood. So I guess Imrek won 0, though he did get uh, kind of forced and driven away from the battlefield at the end there. The Mage of High Magic, only 230 value on her. Again, more of a support character for the most part. Just a, a little bit of reassurance as well, a bit of insurance in the back to try to take down Pterodons who could uh, possibly take advantage of a build like this and shut down that Archer Core. Archers, 370, 400, and 210 value. Unfortunately, not quite able to protect them. Once the Skinks got on the back line, they were constantly running away and it became really messy. Reavers, though, 41, 35, and 40 kills. 1,000 value, 345 value, and 420. The uh, 420 guys were just kind of chilling and vibing in the trees as the others did the work there. Silver Helms, 33, 47, 62, and 53 kills. 465, 854, 937, and 606 value. The Dragon Prince is a also quite a big staple in this matchup a lot of elite cavalry here which is good to see 837 damage value and 38 kills and then 2040 value 205 kills probably been the mvps there for the high elves still alive still plenty left to give but unfortunately army losses kicked in and the army was forced to leave the battlefield hope you guys enjoyed this one until next time peace peace and as always stay awesome